Greetings and welcome. This is Dr. B. D. Y. Sunil, Associate Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In today's session, we will be learning about the equilibrium of body due to friction on horizontal plane and rough inclined plane. First, let us consider the body which is placed on a horizontal plane. Here, in this condition, the force applied P is in horizontal fashion. That is, the force P which is applied onto the object is in horizontal condition. So, this is the first case which we will consider. Here, after considering all the forces that are being applied in this system, let us first take the equilibrium condition where the equilibrium of horizontal components of the forces. So, all the horizontal forces which are visible here are the frictional force F and the force P that is being applied on the object. So, sigma Fx which is the horizontal components of the forces is written as minus F plus P. Why we have considered minus F here? Because the frictional force is acting towards negative x axis direction. When coming to sigma Fy is equal to the vertical components of the forces. Here in this figure, the free body diagram, we are observing two vertical forces. One is normal reaction N which is acting upwards and the weight of the object which is acting downwards. So, we can write the component forces summation in vertical direction as sigma Fy is equal to minus W plus M. Here minus W has been written because weight of the object W is acting vertically downwards which is in negative y axis direction. Now consider the force P that is acting at an inclination of theta to the horizontal. In the previous case the applied force is horizontal. Here the force P is being applied at an inclination of theta to the horizontal. Here in this case for taking the equilibrium conditions what we need to do is we will be considering the components of force P because this force is inclined force. We are converting this force or resolving this force into mutually perpendicular components. So, for obtaining that, first we consider the summation of the horizontal components of the forces which can be written as minus F plus P cos theta. Here, there are only two horizontal forces. One is the frictional force F which is acting towards left side that means it is negative force and the horizontal component of the force P that is P cos theta. So, we can take the horizontal component summation as minus F plus P cos theta. Now, coming to the vertical components and with vertical forces sigma Fy. Here you can observe that there are three vertical forces. One is weight of the object weight of the box, second is the normal reaction and third one is the vertical component of the force P that is being applied. So, we can write the vertical component summation as minus W as the weight W is acting vertically downwards that is in negative y axis direction plus N as this N is acting in the upward direction that is positive y axis direction and plus P sin theta and this P sin theta is also acting in positive y axis direction. So, in this way we can write the equilibrium conditions of the given system. The difference between the frictionless supports or frictionless sur surfaces and the friction surface is that the component of normal reaction and the frictional force will be prevailing in the conditions. Now, let us see the rough inclined plane. Force is along parallel the plane. That means, force is along the plane. Let us consider a plane which you can observe here which is in blue color. It is inclined at an angle of alpha to the horizontal. The plane is inclined at alpha to the horizontal. As this is a rough inclined plane, as this is a rough plane, there will be friction prevailing. 
So what we can write? Here you can see the friction that is being acted. The force is applied along the plane. If you can observe, the force is applied along the plane, this force P. And because of that force being applied, the object will try to move towards the right side. Hence, the frictional force will be acting towards downwards, left side. Okay. So, considering all these things, what we can say? The application of force, the application of force P is making the friction to act towards downward direction. Right. And the normal reaction will always act in whichever direction the frictional force will act. It is not a consideration for normal reaction. It will be acting towards the object, towards the object at the frictional point, at the frictional point. Then coming to the weight, this weight W, the weight of the object is always acting vertically downwards, vertically downwards. Now when you consider this weight consideration, okay, this is the vertical force for this inclined condition, for this inclined force or inclined condition, inclined plane condition, this vertical force which is W will be inclined force that you need to remember. This would be inclined force. If at all the object is placed on a horizontal plane, then we can consider this W as it is for the vertical forces. But here, this condition of the plane, you can observe here as the inclined condition. So, whatever horizontal force or the vertical forces that are present will be inclined forces, inclined forces for this condition of inclined plane, for this condition of inclined plane. So, what you need to do? You need to resolve this weight, you need to resolve this weight into components, you need to resolve this weight into components. So, converting this weight or resolving the weight into components, you will be obtaining the component as perpendicular to the plane component like this and normal to the plane component like this. This is your weight force, right? So, in this way, you will be obtaining the components. Here, the inclination between these two will be alpha. So, in this way, the free body diagram is drawn for this thing. Now, forces along the plane, the, the, as the first condition of equilibrium, we will be considering the forces along the plane, which are sigma fx, that is equal to, along the plane forces are f, p, and the, along the plane co component of w. So, f and along the plane component of w are acting in the negative direction. Okay, you can observe in the free body diagram, they are acting in the negative direction and the force P is acting in the positive direction. So, we will be having the sign conventions as minus F plus P minus W sin alpha. And the forces perpendicular to the plane, we will be getting as sigma Fy is equal to two forces are there here. One is N which is acting in positive direction and the W cos alpha which is the component of the weight force which is acting in the downward direction, nothing but the negative direction. So, we will be considering it as minus W cos R. So, this is the conditions which we need to take. Now, as a second case, the force acting at an angle of theta to the plane. Here, you can observe the plane which is, uh, which is, which we are observing here, the object which is placed on the plane it is inclined and also the force which is being applied, the force which is being applied here, it is also having an inclination of theta to the plane, theta to the plane. So, this again, this force P will be considered as the inclined force for the system. The force P is considered as the inclined force to the system and we need to convert or resolve this force P into mutually perpendicular components. So, for obtaining that, first let us consider the forces along the plane. So, for that forces along the plane, we will be having how many forces? Frictional force F, the horizontal component or along the plane component of the force P that is being applied and the along the plane component of W. 
Okay, so when we substitute these things, we will be getting sigma fx is equal to minus f as it is in negative direction plus p cos theta. It is in positive direction. It is acting in this direction. You can observe here. It is acting in this direction. So it is positive plus uh, minus w sin alpha. So this is acting in the negative direction. That is w sin alpha. So now, after doing this, we will be writing about the forces perpendicular to the plane. Here also, there are three forces. Sigma Fy is equal to n, which is in positive direction, plus P sin theta. So this P sin theta is also acting in positive direction, minus W cos alpha. So this is the conditions which we will be placing for the friction considerations. Whenever the frictional force is acting in the system, we need to consider the components of the forces for putting it in the equilibrium conditions like this. Okay, this completes this session. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.